some pretty good times. You don't got to do all that, but I think, mean, actually, New Orleans, Superdome, right across the street, WrestleMania a couple of years ago, right? Wasn't too bad. We took out those old fogies, the New Age Outlaws and Kane. It was a pretty good time. I mean, and hey, what about London, right? The helicopter? We flew in, wrestled the Undertaker and Team Hell No. That was pretty awesome, right? Or hey, hey, Roman, oops, what about that sushi train in Japan, right? The little one with the conveyor belt that went around. We did it. You're right. We did have some good time. Or what about, hey, uh, we found Ambrose unconscious by that dumpster. What, 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 what town were we in? Uh, Salt Lake. Uh, uh, no, it was Albuquerque. Uh, Albuquerque. It was Albuquerque. Nailed it. Nailed it. Fine. Fine. You're right, Dean. We did have some pretty good times together. It wasn't all bad. You know what? The best times that I ever had in this ring were with you guys. Nah, nah. We won titles together, man. We traveled the world together. I mean, and the six-man tags are legendary. What about that one against the Wyatt family at Elimination Chamber, huh? Or the two we had against Evolution? Not too shabby. I mean, we, we sent Big Batista packing. I mean... Come to think about it, Dave, he actually owes us a favor because now he's a big Hollywood star, right? That's what I keep saying. Championship. Okay, I know I didn't really explain the rules to you, but this is my talk show, all right? And I ask some questions around here, so all right, Roman, how do you feel about that? If you're the rightful champ, then why do I have this? I just explained to Seth, everybody. I ask the questions around here, all right? Kind of a deal. Okay, Seth, why does he have this? He's got that because my knee caved out for carrying this company on my back for the better part of last year. And you know what? While I was gone, he earned it. Because if I'm not mistaken, at Survivor Series, he beat you. A couple months later, he took care of Sheamus, and then at the biggest WrestleMania of all time, he beat the game, Triple H. So yeah, you earned it, big man. But one thing you haven't done is beat me. Do you know why? Because you can't beat me. Because I am better than you. Because I am two steps ahead of you every step of the way. And there's nothing you can do about it. And you know what? We're a lot alike. 
We are a lot alike, but there is one big difference. You couldn't do that without me. If I wouldn't have held your hand all those years in the shield, you'd be nothing. If I wouldn't have gotten hurt and had to vacate that title, you would have never won it. And everything that I've accomplished, I did it all on my own. All the risks, the gambles that I took, I did it on my own. And at Money in the Bank, I'm going to take back a title that I never lost on my own. On your own. Okay, so there's going to be no j, &J security, no authority, no corporate cane, uh, the police, the army, the marines, the navy seals, whoever you can have to protect you. None of that's going to happen this time. Uh, he's right. He's right. He did this on his own. He screwed me at WrestleMania on his own. He broke up our group. Our group on his own. And he didn't just break up the shield, man. You broke up a brotherhood. We were your boys. We were your friends. We had your back. We were the only ones in this company that had your back. For what? Limelight, which one of famous? That's what you want. You want to be the man. You want to run around here and call yourself the man. You want the spotlight. You're going to have the spotlight on Sunday. Because you're going to be on your own in the ring with me. And after Money in the Bank, they're not going to call me the guy because I'm the champ. They're going to call me the guy because I beat you. Or will it be Roman Reigns? The guy. The champ. Who's it going to be? Or. Or. What if I win the Money in the Bank contract?